families, and thank you for joining me in episode number two of Fun with Numbers. My name is Marie, and I work here at the Early On Center. So I will be starting circle time, and later on you will be seeing Cindy, and she's going to be doing activities with parents and grandparents and children. Okay, so. We are going to be doing a few songs to start and the first song that we're going to sing is a number song and we are going to show our hand just like this. Can you show number five? Great. Okay, so we're going to count together. Are you ready to count with me? Here it goes. One, two, three, four, five. Let's do that again. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. I hope that you're gonna sing along with me, okay? So listen to the tune, everybody. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. five, five. Let's sing that song. Here it goes. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. One and two, three and four, five, 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 five. Yeah. Okay. Families, the next song we're going to sing is called How Many Fingers on One Hand. This song is taken from Kiboomers, so you can also find them on YouTube. And we usually sing this song at our center. So some of you who are our regular families, this might be familiar to you. And for new families watching us, so you can learn this song and sing along with us, okay? So it goes like this. We're going to count with our hands how many fingers we see and just follow the actions that you see on the screen right here. Okay, here it goes. How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? How many fingers on one hand? Let's fingers we see on both hands. Here it goes. How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? How many fingers on both hands? Let's all count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I need everybody to clap with me. Here it goes. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Yay! Give a thumbs up for great singing. Okay, the third song that we're going to sing right now is called one little flower and it actually goes up to number 10. Right now our season is springtime. Flowers are now blooming all around us and I hope that you can appreciate nature during this time. Okay so come and sing along with me. It goes like this. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little, nine little flowers, ten little flowers all blooming. Let's sing that song again. Here it goes. One little, two little, three little flowers, four little, five little, six little flowers, seven little, eight little I 
hope that you saw all the flowers blooming on the screen. Okay, so right now we are going to read the book, The Ants Go Marching. And I'm going to show you the pictures. The book we're reading today is called The Ants Go Marching. The book is illustrated by Jeffrey Scherer. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, the little one stops to suck his thumb, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, the little one stops to tie his shoe, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little one stops to ride a bee. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, the little one stops to shut the door and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, the little one stops to jump and jive, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, the little one stops to pick up sticks and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven, the little one stops to write with a pen. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, the little one stops to roller skate, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine. The little one stops to drink and dine. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten, the little one stops to say the end. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Let's count the numbers on this book. One. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Families, I hope that you enjoyed today's circle for fun with numbers. Now, it's Cindy's turn to show us some exciting and fun craft activities related to math and numbers. Let's call on Cindy. Cindy! Hi, families. How are you? Hope you're all enjoying the Fun with Number episode 2. Today, I'm going to do two activities with you. The first one is a hopscotch game and the second one is counting apples. Now I'm going to show you how to make a hopscotch game. You can make it on the floor with tape or you can make it outside with the sidewalk chalk. Here are all the materials we need. So we need masking tape or you can use the green painter tape. I prefer this one because it's easier to peel off. And you need a pair of scissors for cutting the tape and sidewalk chalk if you want to do it outside. And a piece of foil paper to crumble a ball like this. And this is a sample I made. So we can play a few different ways. Here's the first way we can play. If you make it on the floor, children can jump when you call out the numbers. For example, if I call out number three, so then Froggy will jump to number three. One, two, three. And the second way we can play is to toss a ball on the hopscotch board. Then ask your child to say the number where the ball lands on. So if the ball lands on here, I will say number seven. And the third way is matching objects to the numbers. So I got two frogs. Number two, one, and two. So two fox, right? For great activity for learning numbers, eye-hand coordinations, and practicing balance if the children jump on the numbers. The second activity is counting apples. Here are the materials we need. Muffin tray, or egg carton, masking tape, markers, scissors, a piece of white paper, and a piece of red paper. So now I'm going to show you how to make the numbers. So you take a paper and fold it twice and draw three circle on it and then you cut it and use the marker to write the numbers on the circle. And then you tape it on the muffin tray, like this. Or you can draw the number here. And now we're going to make the apples. So you're going to fold the paper twice, like this. And then you draw six apples on it. After you cut it, then you got 24 apples. And then you're going to separate into two sets. The first set, you're going to put the numbers on it, 1 to 12. And the second set, you just leave it blank. So kids can match the apples with numbers on the muffin tray, like this. So they can put 1, 2, 1. Also, use the apples without the numbers for counting. For example, Two, and then they put one, two. So this activity will teach children how to count and also recognize the numbers. I hope you all enjoy the circle times and the activity times today. We'll see you again in episode three. Bye everyone, have fun.